11 years after Epic, Roger Federer topped the fail Nadal in Wimbledon semi. Wimbledon, England after waiting 11 years to get another shot against the fail Nadal at Wimbledon, Roger Federer was so, so close to the final line. One match point was away when Federer missed the forehand return. A second came and went on the backhand return. Later, serving for a spot in the record 12th final at the All England Club, Federer shanked a leaping overhead off the top edge of his rapid train, giving Nadal a great point. After Nadal wasted that chance, Federer earned two more match points and failed to convert those, either, as his wife, Mirka, peeked through the fingers covering her face. Federer knew it wouldn't be easy against his great rival. Never is, really, no matter where they play. Eventually, Nadal put the backhand long on match point number 5, bringing an empty flying matches close to the otherwise classic contest and allowing Federer to win their semi-final 7, to 6, 3, 1, to 6, 6, to 3, 6, to 4 on Friday. I'm exhausted. It will stop at the end. Federer said, I'm just very relieved it's all over. Federer closed in on the ninth championship at the All England Club and 21st Grand Slam Trophy in all. To get to those numbers in Sunday's final, Federer must get past Novak Djokovic, who is the defending champion and seeded number one. We all know how good he is anywhere, Djokovic said about Federer, but, especially here. Djokovic isn't too shabby himself. He reached his sixth final at the grass court major by beating 23rd, Tyson seeded Roberto Bautista at his sixth, to two, four, to six, six, to three, six, to two earlier Friday. Djokovic is eyeing a fifth championship at Wimbledon and 16th major title. As entertaining as that first semi-final was including a 45, Tyson stroke point win by Djokovic it was merely a tasty appetizer ahead of the day's delectable main course. Not only was this the 40th installment of Federer vs. Nadal, but it also was their first meeting at Wimbledon since the 2008 final. In a match many consider the best in the sport's lengthy annals, Nadal edged Federer 9, the 7 in the 5th set that ended after 9 p.m., as any trace of daylight disappeared. How excited, then, were the spectators for the rematch? When Federer and Nadal strode out into the sunshine at 4.30 p.m. Friday, they were welcomed by a standing ovation before ever swinging a racket. Quickly, that reading was justified. These are, of course, two of the greats of all time maybe the two greatest and they lived up to the status for stretches. When he, for Federer, was at his rebuilt backhand, hit strong and slap more frequently than it used to be, held steady against Nagel's bull with the Gillespie forehand. Another was that Federer was able to withstand Nagel's surge, which has improved the sun over the years. Federer left 10 great points, and though he succeeded on just two, that was enough, with the last vital conversion making it two, to win in the fourth set. And then there was this, Federer won 25 of the 33 points when he went to the net. I didn't play well enough, said Nagel, who lost the five-set semi-final to Djokovic a year ago at Wimbledon. There was some season, anything you can do, I can do, to vice to Friday's proceedings. Federer would kick up chop with an ace to a corner, and Nagel would do the same in the next game. When Nagel jumped out to a 3-2 to two lead in the first set tee breaker, Federer used his line returning to reel off five points in a round to claim it. Who else but Federer could strike the serve so well that Nagel's wild reply would be caught by someone in the royal box behind him, as happened early in the second set? Who else but Nagel could attack Federer's generally unassailable forehand in such a manner as to draw when so lost the mark that it landed in the third round? I thought probably the biggest points in the match went my way. There were some tight wins and long rallies, Federer said. He played with such velocity and spins and everything, you're not always sure you're going to connect the right way. No one ever has managed to reduce Federer to mid-match mediocrity quite the way Nadal can, part of why the Spaniard entered Friday with a 24-15 to overall lead head-to-head, -head, including 10-3 to at Grand Slam tournaments. This was the second major in a row where they faced off, 
Nadal won their windy French Open semi-final last month and lose to his 12th championship on the red clay and 18th slam overall. But Wimbledon, if Federer is the minion, he's won 100 win matches at the place more than any other man at any other slam, even Nadal at Roland Garros and all of those trophies. Joe Kovic, meanwhile, leads his series with Federer 25, to 22, including 9, to 15 Grand Slam matches. I hope I can push him to the brink and hopefully he can. But it's going to be very difficult, as we know, Federer said. He's not number one just by chance. I have, Djokovic said, to Dizzy. Even Bokit Krabi didn't really expect his visit to the All England Plus to last this long. The Spaniard was supposed to meet a half dozen of his buddies on the island of Ibiza this weekend for his bachelor party. Instead, those pals were sitting in a guest box at center court on Friday. Eventually, Djokovic took control with his enviable ability to return serve, track down, fall and go from defense to offense. Now he's Federer's problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.